Good morning, Ocean Tower 2 residents. Today is May 27th, 2021, and I'm coming to you with some very important updates. So first things first, last night we had an open board meeting. The primary purpose of that open board meeting was to discuss hurricane preparedness. So I have a question for you. Have you thought about where you'd put your car in the event of a hurricane? Do you have a place to stay? What about the furniture in your balcony? These are all important questions that you need to be prepared to think about, to deal with in the event of an emergency, particularly if you're going to be out of town. If you plan on leaving during hurricane season, plan for all of these things in advance. Don't find yourself in a situation that is extremely difficult and that is extremely stressful. So think about these things now. We'll be uploading onto our website the Hurricane Preparedness Manual, but think about things like having flashlights, having batteries, extra batteries, portable chargers that are fully charged to help you get through and navigate any hurricane events. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me in the office and I'll be happy to talk with you. Now, one of the other things that we were discussing last night at the meeting that I think is an extremely important topic, and I brought it up before, but I'll bring it up again. So we've had a couple of leaks over the last couple of weeks, and it's important for you to understand that there are all these little components to every appliance that you have that keep it running effectively and efficiently. Some of those components will include different kinds of hoses and gaskets, all that are uh, cost a nominal fee to replace, but if they cause damage or if they break and erupt, it can be hundreds of thousands of dollars. So yes, we're doing in-unit assessments, but keep in mind that your unit is your own and it is important that you take care of these items. Maybe have a handyman come and do a diagnostic of all your appliances. We're at the point in our building where all our, your appliances, particularly if they're original appliances, are over 20 years old. So you have to make sure that your water heaters check, that your jacuzzi is checked, that your elevator, your washer and dryer, your dishwasher, all of those items are great appliances to have, but they're also, they also can cause a great amount of damage. So keep that in mind. Now next Wednesday, no, next Thursday, which is June 3rd, B Meals will be with me from the hours of 12 to 2 in the lobby. We'll be there. They'll be there to give you some free food, but I will be there to talk to you about some very important topics. We can talk about any questions that you may have with the hurricane season coming up, about uh, you know what repairs need to be done, about that upcoming amendment change, which is so important for all the homeowners. So please, Please keep this in mind. Utilize these videos to get any information you need. And in addition, you can always ask a question to me or questions to me or at us, and we will be happy to serve you and help you in any way that we can. Next item. It is Memorial Day weekend. So there are a couple of housekeeping rules that I want you to be aware of. First things first, Oka will be taking things very seriously. So they will be checking for your membership card if you are anywhere within the confines of Oka's territory. So that is the resort style pool, at the ocean club, at the beach. All of these places require that you carry your membership card. So it is important. Please walk around with that. You don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to be asked to leave. So make sure that you have that in place. Parking is a major issue here at Ocean Tower 2 and at Oka, and Oka will begin enforcing people parking on the streets. They will tow. So it is important that you accommodate your, your visitors and plan ahead. Call the Beach Club, find out if you can place them there. We have limited, uh, we have limited parking here at Ocean Tower 2, so you want to be careful with that. We want to remind you that the valet parking is for you and your guest. It is not for domestic workers. It is not for contractors. They are responsible for parking their own vehicle. So please make sure that you plan for that because I have asked valet to begin enforcing that we are no longer to just park anyone's car in, in our garage. Why? Because then we run out of spaces. We blockade homeowners 
who are entitled to be able to come and go as they please. So please keep that in mind. Lastly, it is Memorial Day, so we will be closing down the office tomorrow at 2 p.m. So just keep that in mind. If you have anything that you need to get done or anything that uh, deals with the office, make sure that you reach out to us before 2 p.m. tomorrow so you can get someone in the office. Other than that, I hope that you have a great Memorial Day. We want to, as always, say thank you. It is a pleasure to serve your community. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, Oshantara 2 residents.